wanted was a baby. Since the beginning, everyone told me no. I've done a lot of bad things to get here. Good, I think I'm helping. Met a lot of bad people. You gay pervert! I just need you to pay your taxes. Like the head of that adoption agency who's kidnapped a precious baby and used it to clone countless emers to stay alive. I knew I had to rescue that baby and be the best father I could be, which is why I decided to go back to that adoption agency one last time. Understand. It's so late. Why are there still people working here? She's probably up the security to Red. Guys, I can't do this. Remember our agreement? You get me into that building and I'll fish you out one of them extra Emer hearts. Even if I were to get us inside, my chip is probably flagged by now, which means she will know I'm there and put a bullet in my head. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Sam, don't be stupid. At least I look like every employee in there. If you go into that building, your face is basically a target to anyone with a gun. You won't make it two feet in that door. Well, luckily, I know a guy. Hi, Dr. Dillon. Hi, I'm Dr. Dillon. Please sign these forms in case I kill any of you. <laughs> it's just going to be me this time, Dr. Dillon. I'm going to need you to make me look like this man. You think you can do that? Oh, Sam, you can do better. No, it's for a secret operation. Don't ask me what it is. All right, it's going to cost you $3,000. i will sneak into that building right there. Oh, okay. And when I come out, I'm gonna need you to turn me back into Sam. Oh, he hasn't come out yet. This fucker still thinks he's straight. <gasps> I am straight. I'm the straightest little filly you ever gonna meet. Now turn me into this woman. All right, everyone, I'm gonna need it very quiet because this is a very dangerous procedure. Yeah, whatever, just be quick. <clears throat> Quit in time, assholes. I'm getting out of here. When can we go home? We haven't eaten since our 2 p.m. feeding. Look, I know all you Elmers were born with those faggy haircuts, but you can at least man up your personality. We're on red alert, people, which means no one goes in or out except me. Yes, we'll call you when we have more babies. Thank you. What is that smell? It's my guess, and I can't help it. Well, you can at least stop drinking the expired milk. The date is when it's ripest. <laughs> I miss working at the DMV, where people had the decency to look different. That was slightly happier. Oh, fuck me. All right, I'm around in the building. Now where do I go? All right, very good, Sam. Now on your right-hand side, you're going to notice a pair of double doors. Walk through those and go past the receptionist. And whatever you do, act normal. Howdy there, Emer. No, Helen normal. Remember, she's more heartless than I am. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'm pro-abortion this week. Thank you, Peter Camp. It's a step in the right direction, I suppose. Look, just get to her desk and keep being negative. No, what? No, don't do that. I forgot something at my desk, you asswipe. You're all a bunch of asswipes. I love playing these mean characters. What did you forget? Um, I, f I forgot my, uh, I forgot my, uh, my plan B candies, because the walk to the parking lot is a dangerous one. <laughs> oh, these are really, these actually are good candies. Sam, stay focused. I need you to log into her computer using the facial recognition scanner. Let's hope Dr. Big Lips did a good job. Oh, shit. Get down, get down, get down. What? What? It's only Sam. It's not Sam. That is Helen, and if she finds us, we are dead. I think she sees us. So do y'all have the same butthole? Oh, 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 God. I left my goddamn gas away tablets on my desk. Okay, I think she's gone. That was way too close. Access granted. Welcome, Helen. Ooh, that worked. And now it's asking me for some kind of PAX code. Fuck, she changes that password every week based off of whatever disgusting food she's into. Try deviled eggs. Nope. I'm gonna try Triscuits. Nope. Alright, 
try fruitcake. Hey, I like fruitcake. All right, we'll just try every disgusting food you could think of. Collard greens. Chinese food. Oh, I know. Arby's. That's it! I left my goddamn gas pills in my desk, and without them, the walk to my car is a dangerous one. What happened to all my gas away tablets? I believe you just scarfed them all down like an Arby sandwich. Oh, I can't hold this one in. Oh. Oh. Hey, someone logged into my computer. And my good printer paper is all gone. I couldn't help it, it's that glossy cardstock. Attention, gentlemen, we have an intruder in the building. Let's lock this fucker down. Oh my god! Oh, I think Sam's in trouble! Oh, I gotta save him! No, 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 Donna, if you go in there, you will die. You need to stay here where it's safe. I live for danger, you ass ninny. Aha! Uh -huh. God damn it. All right, Amer, I'm making my way down to the basement right now. All right, go down one more level and you're gonna find a door on your right-hand side. Yes, I see it right here. It's locked. No, wrong door, to the right of that. Oh, well, this is just ridiculous. Sam, I'm gonna need you to hurry up. Whichever one of you Emers designed this place is a little bit retarded. This one's locked too. Hold on, I'm hacking into the system right now. The door should be open in three, two. Oh, I felt it unlock. All right, I'm inside. Emer, Emer, are you there? Hello? Emer, come in, Emer. Sammy to Emer. Must have lost signal down here. Wowee! This looks exactly like the room Amor was talking about. And the one that Donna made up. Oh, look, there's the baby. Hi there, little person. Looks like I'm gonna be your new daddy. Normally I look less masculine than this, but let's get you to your new home. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Put the baby back in the bassinet. <laughs> Say that three times fast and maybe I will. Put the baby back in the bassinet. Put the baby back in the bassinet. Put the baby back in the bassinet. Now how many times do I have to say it before pulling this trigger? Oh please, that thing's not even loaded. How long was he standing there? The whole time. I guess they really are invisible. Enough! You can shoot me up all you want, but I got a doctor that could fix me up six ways to Sunday. I thought you'd say that, which is why I bought myself some leverage. Now put the baby back or you'll be stuck looking like a middle-aged librarian for the rest of your life. You wouldn't. Oh, but I would. Fine, I'm gonna throw this baby. Now why would you hurt that thing when you spent so much time and effort trying to get one? All right, I'm gonna keep it safe. Good. Wait, what do you not want me to do with this baby? Harm it! This thing's gonna die! Now we're negotiating. Toss me the baby and I'll spare the doctor's life and give you... Two dollars. More. Three. More. I'll give you five dollars. Oh, come on, Sam, you can do better. It's gonna have to be more. I'll give you a million dollars, Sam. Take it down a little further, jeez. It's too high. Five hundred thousand dollars. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to end this way. Who'd have thought the road we'd share would be so short? Goodbye. All right, so the doctor and I will just be leaving now. 